Hello, good evening, or whenever you come across this, and happy March 26th. This is called the Day of Integrity. And if you were born on this day, I hope you had an awesome birthday and an amazing year to come, the best one yet. We're going to be reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays, your complete personology guide to each day of the year by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. So let's learn a bit about this day. If you're interested in purchasing this book, there is a link in the description. <clears throat> Month, March, day 26. Your sign is four to six degrees Aries. You're an Aries one sun sign and you're a cardinal fire sign. March 26 people manifest the innocence, spontaneity, and candor of a child. They manage to get things done without resorting to overt aggressiveness. For them, simplicity is the keynote. They are, ad or they are averse to all forms of excessive complication. This means that if a person were to consistently create difficulties and problems, he or she would not remain long in the company of a March 26 person. Those born on this day usually seek the simplest solution to any human question by following things back to the source. For this reason, the splendid intuitive qualities of March 26 people will often allow fellow human beings an insight into how things work. Although March 26 people are active, they manifest a kind of philosophical detachment. They are able to stand back and quietly view a situation, chew over what may be wrong, and come up with an insightful and helpful solution. They can also be somewhat withdrawn from life, even to the point of isolating themselves for periods of time. This need for isolation may have them retreating to a favorite place, perhaps remote mountains, desert, or seaside, to recharge with nature. Generally, what they accomplish in this time alone is simply experiencing isolation for its own sake, meditating in the Eastern sense of clearing the mind rather than mulling over plans or ideas. March 26 people work at their own pace and are usually unhurried, thus relaxed. But just beneath the surface lies a spontaneity capable of producing quite unexpected thoughts and acts. More often than not, this spontaneity takes the welcome form of humor or expresses itself in a well-needed digression from the work at hand. Sometimes March 26 people can be too relaxed, holding back when they really need to push ahead, and this can put them at a disadvantage with those who are more aggressive or directed. March 26 people are aware of their foibles and that they prefer to do things their own way. However, because they are a bit more eccentric than most, they may at times be viewed by their peers as being off course. Fortunately, they are not known to be flaky or irresolute because they do not give their word lightly and do not make exaggerated claims for themselves. One is lucky indeed to be close to a March 26 person and favored as well, since they are not interested in making a great number of friends. For them, a friend is a friend for life, and no matter how many years go by, they will always have an open heart and home for those with whom they share that special report. If, on the other hand, they themselves are forgotten or rejected, they can turn a page and accept the situation stoically. Numbers and planets. <clears throat> those born on the 26th of the month are ruled by the number eight, six plus two equaling eight, and by the planet Saturn. Not particularly interested in impressing anyone, they can be, they can be viewed as undemonstrative or aloof. Nothing could be further from the truth since they are usually warm-hearted with the energy of Mars, ruler of Aries, supplying the heat. March 26 people show their Saturnian side by remaining responsible for others, and though their unpredictable Martian spontaneity may at times sidetrack them, they sooner or later return to their duties. Those ruled by the number eight can be overly self-sacrificing, and this trait combined with the March 26 tendency toward con uh, contentment can be to the detriment of their success, causing them to fall short of their talents. Entero.
The eighth card of the major arcana is strength or courage, which depicts a grateful or a graceful, which depicts a graceful queen taming a furious lion. The queen symbolizes the female magician who can master rebellious energies and stands for morale as well as physical strength. Moral. I think moral. This card's positive attributes include charisma and determination to succeed. The negative qualities include complacency and the misuse of power. In health, the greatest perils for March 26 people lie in the mental sphere. They can brush off negativity in others, but when it surfaces in themselves, they are too often defenseless against it, and they may even turn away from life. People born on March 26 are very physical, needing challenges of many kinds. Sports, recreation, and sex are all important in large doses to keep them healthy and happy. Although their adventures may bring accident or injury, March 26 people generally heal quickly and overcome disability well. They should seek to keep their eating habits constant, not gyrating from starving to suffering. They must be fed. They are like being, or they like being cooked for. Regular meals which stimulate their appetite with piquant tastes. Piquant. To peak? I'm not sure. Advice. <clears throat> Be careful of being overly moral and, and judgmental. Keep it light and learn to take yourself less seriously. Loosen up and have fun. Preserve your childlike qualities. Do not, give, do not give in to bullying and push ahead in your work. Meditation for the day. That all things do indeed pass is revealed when a child's sadness gives way to laughter. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a great, that's awesome. All right, so if you were born on this day, your strengths could be that you are intuitive, self sufficient, or responsible, and your weaknesses could be that you're negative, insecure, or depressive. There's a hair that's bothering me. Okay. So, those born on this day Robert Frost, four time Pulitzer Prize winning New England poet, Sandra Day O'Connor. First woman Supreme Court Justice, Joseph Campbell, a Jungian mythologist, writer of Masks of God. I think I have that book. Um, Wayne Embry, first African-American general manager in U.S. sports. Tennessee Williams, a playwright. Pierre Boulet, a French composer and conductor. Victor Frankl, Frankl an existential psychiatrist who wrote Man's Search for Meaning, Diana Ross, a lead singer of The Supremes and a film actress, Leonard, Nim uh, Leonard Nimoy, a TV and film actor, Mr. Spock of Star Trek, Teddy Pendergrass, a soul singer, started as drummer with Harold Melvin and The Blue Notes, partially paralyzed in car, in car crash, and then a comeback. James Kahn, a film actor. Is it Can? C-A-A-N? James Moody, a jazz saxophonist, a flutist, composer, and arranger. Alan Arkin, a film actor. Martin Short, a Canadian comic film actor. Erica Jong, or Yong, a writer of Fear of Flying. Sterling Hayden, a film actor. Wilhelm Backhaus, a German pianist. Beethoven interpreter, A. E. Hausman, a British poet and scholar, Duncan Hines, a restaurant reviewer, John Stockton, a basketball guard, five-time five -time NBA assist leader of the Dream Team, uh, Olympic gold medalist. Man, lots of writers, poets, actors, thinkers. The day of integrity. Wow, that's that's interesting. Well, I hope that could help you on your path or help you understand those on your path. We will close out with this awesome meditation one last time. <clears throat> that all things do indeed pass is revealed when a child's sadness 
gives way to laughter. <laughs> well, whenever you come across this, I hope you're having an excellent day. And thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. Mwah. Thank you. Take care of yourself.